a start. Welcome everybody. Today I will continue this Lost in the Random. Because I want to play something. Not spooky or spooky, yes, but not a hollow game. So let's begin, if I remember how to play. Let's collect some money. Hey kid, I'm selling crispy tweaks here. Crispy tweaks to trade. How much money do I have, by the way? Does it say anywhere? So I am just thinking... Because if I have money, I might as well... Ah, here you are. Here you are. Hello. Many decks. I have enough. Not enough for that. Golden pin. Here's a gift for being such a loyal customer. A golden pin can be used in the dice mention using to save a card in your hand until the next time the dice is rolled. The more pins you have, the more cards you can save. Damage. One hundred five. Let's save money. Oh, never mind. Trade it. Here, can I see the? What cards do I have? King's hand. So I have. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. So yes, a new one with me. Oh, I have room yes. for two more cards. I think it was fifteen to limit. Kid, I got what all kids crave. I got a 50% off sale. That's uh, cool. Nice to you. Uh, Hi, I'm hey. twofold. Aha, there is the ghost. Words for sale. Who wants to buy a word? Here's one for free. Syzygy. Buy a word. Two tons square. 
No wait. Was the uh, side mission? Hello. Hello. Can I interest you in a potion? Uh, sure. Wait a minute. I don't know you. I only sell potions to my regular customers. I don't give out my art willy-nilly. Oh. You're not from around here, are you? No. You must feel lost. It would be logical to give her a summary of the town that she finds herself in. I was getting to that. Jeez. Ahem. <clears throat> It would be logical of me to give you a summary of the town you find yourself in. As you may have noticed, we're big into duality here. Even though it has its not unsubstantial downsides. By the card makers, I'm speaking, Jorad! Is this normal? Split personality, though ours is more unfortunate than most. Jared and I don't agree on very much these days. Is everyone here double like this? Ah, a keen question suggesting a logical mind. Everyone in two town is split, but it's not always the same way. I am fated to always be battling my other half, but even on my worst days, I know that it's fair. We battle it out and it's a great system! As you can see, Jorid and I are in conflict a lot. We want different things in, in business, in life, in love. In that some of us don't want love because it's an illogical distraction. And some of us want to get mad kissy. Also, we are at loggerheads over the direction of our business. But not for long. I am working on a potion to decide this once and for all. A potion? Yes, a potion to decide who is in charge. Whoever drinks it will be the leader once and for all, regardless of what the dice say. Which will be me. You misspoke. As anyone could clearly see that I am intended to be the one in charge. If you simply reason it out, you'll see that... You know what? I have had it with your condescending and your precious logic. An emotional and, frankly, embarrassing response, dare I say, cringe-worthy? Ugh, you two enjoy talking. I'm out of here. La 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 la, can't hear you. La 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 la, can't hear you. Ah, we have a few moments of privacy. There is one thing. Yes. That potion I mentioned. I need ingredients to finish it. And I'm afraid time is of some matter because my partner is working on a similar potion. One that will lock me out for good. It's logical, therefore, that I finish my potion first. So if you'd be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, I would appreciate it. I'll do it. I can barely hear you with these fingers in my ears, but that sounded like a yes. Excellent. I require three blooms. Unremarkable organisms distinguished by their loud screams. Hello, Volpat. Listen for their sounds and you'll find them. And don't worry about harvesting them for my experiments. My research indicates that it is actually quite ethical and logical for me to do this. What if the poop don't want to become a soup? I don't... Excuse me. I don't want to hurt any bloops. And don't worry about harvesting them for me. Think of them like little vegetables, which, due to their particular evolution, know how to scream. It's all very logical. Oh, and there's a mighty reward in it for you. In conclusion, what I've said is highly intriguing, and if I were you, I'd go find those bloops promptly. Farewell, kind stranger. He's gone, yeah? I think so. Perfect! Uh, listen, before you go, that potion that we're working on, I need ingredients first to finish it. Because as soon as he gets control again, my partner 
is going to invent a potion to lock me out for good. There's no stopping him. It's logical. So, you know, if you'd be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, I'd be much obliged. Hmm. I'm sorry, I was just distracted by this bot's name. I'll do it. Perfect! Oh, perfect! Okay, I'll need three blues, same as him, but you need to give them to me. Oh, and uh, there's a reward in it for you. I know, it's so intriguing. If I were you, I'd go find those ingredients to discover what it is. <laughs> hmm. So both wants to take care of their business partner. Perfectly normal. Behold, the door to Three Town. Alas, the door was sealed shut, and only a roll of a three would open it. But Evans' friend was one dot short. He could only roll a one and a two, and even would have to find a way to upgrade him. Aha! Strange. What's up with these little guys? I wonder if they can fix you. I looked up at the trophies. Hello. So I know board game arena. Roll your dice and defeat all enemies. It's that simple. Board game arena. You're stuck in a giant board game. This is a special type of encounter where in order to win you must complete an objective. The goal of this board game is simple. Bring the playing piece to the end tile. Rolling dicey. The playing piece will take an amount of steps equal to the roll's result as soon as you unfreeze time. When the playing piece lands on this tile, a slow time bubble will spawn there. Any adversaries or projectiles caught inside will be slowed down. Land the playing piece here, and the treasure bird comes flying over the arena. Shoot it to make it drop its treasure tip. It's a fight to challenge in. Change combat difficulty in the menu. Okay, where is the door? I will take this, save this, and use this. It seemed as though Dicey was affecting that giant board game. A slow time bubble has appeared.
first one. And that's all. Where is that treasure? Aha! I hope that's the bird. A slow time bubble has appeared. Collect all. Hello. Now we can go there. Reward Game Master. If a board game piece is present, it moves one additional tile, then draw a new card. Even knew that the door wouldn't open until Dicey had a third pip, which was good. Because it saved me from having to repeat myself. <laughs> Again. Again, that door won't open unless Dicey has a third pip, which he does not. 
and again. The door would never open unless, unless maybe, just maybe, Dicey could somehow get a third pip in this town. The door was closed. It would remain so until Dicey could roll a three. I'm just there second. There simply wasn't any way around that. And that's final. How many different lines? Yes. Third time's charm. I got the trophy. Hello. I need X. I have enough for this. Tarsi turns into a ticking bomb. He'll explode in 9 seconds. Don't worry, unlike even Tarsi will survive the explosion. I will buy that. And have you? Ah, oh, never mind. Trade it here for and a new one. Me. Pick the number oh, two many decks. And no, it was good. Here is the map. Oh dear. Do I ever shut up? And no, did the number two. Oh, Darcy. The dice, child. Yes, you. Come closer. Yes, Lisbeth the Mysterious. You, child. I believe we can be useful to each other. Yes. Can you help me find my sister? She looks like me, I guess. Do I know you? No, nor I you. But the threads of fate weave strange fabrics indeed. You see, I've noticed that you have a dice with you. <laughs> That's not a dice. It's a talk in a costume. Right. A good act, child. You'll need your wits to survive what's coming, I'd wager. So, let's say, hypothetically, you have a dice. Which, yes. of course, you don't. No, I don't. Which means you, hypothetically, have experience in their identification and the true nature. I've heard tell of a dice circulating Celestry. Of course, it's been so long since a true dice has been here. People don't entirely recognize it for what it is. And if these rumors were true, well, I dare say you could be the one to find it. The folks dimly sense it has value. They treat it as something rare and unique. See, a fossil, not knowing its true value, its true nature. I believe someone like yourself could trade for it, or at the very least, trade up to it. Hypothetically, of course. And if you did hypothetically succeed in possessing such a dice, well, I'd be interested. And I'd make it worth your while. Worth your while, indeed. How am I supposed to find a second? Dice. I've heard stories around Cellar Street. There's all sorts of strange items for trade there. And 
And if you can't find it directly, you could trade until you do. I've told you all I can. Oh, except... Except? Except that I've heard whispers that someone is buying words, and someone else is selling them. And that would be where I'd start. Make yourself useful. I child. know someone who... Trade and trade until words. before you know it, you've got your hands on one of those dangerous, awful, deadly diamonds. And then you give it to me, and I will take care of it. I don't trust you. But fine. <sighs> All this tunus reminds me of Odd. I promise you, sister, I am coming for you. I am coming, my sister. Okay. Checking everything is there is. As she looked up, even began to realize the two towns' name was easily twice as literal as she'd suspected. They seem to be constructing a second town. <laughs> I've had enough of this job. Ouch. Hello. Huh? <laughs> oh, a dice? Where did you come from, little one? My. Right, you better smarten up and look where you're going, or I'll... Well, <laughs> you're very angry for someone so small. Small? I'm small. You're a big clumsy giant who goes around sitting on my friends. Again, I, I apologize. It was an accident. <sighs> All right, apology accepted. Look, I'm trying to find my sister. I've got to get through that big old door. Name Seymour. Haven't seen your sister. Seymour. The thing is, I don't see too much of anything these days. And, and your name is Seymour. Skated most of my eyes. Two of them for two town, she said. You have a nanny? Uh, why'd she take them? A nanny Fortuna is the right hand of the queen, and has been for years. She is as mean as she is old. Let's just say she doesn't take kindly to people borrowing her super pricey mechanical spider wagon. <laughs> uh, anyway, once she gave my eyes to the mayor, they disappeared. I haven't heard any news about them since. Wait, I know her. Her. She's the one who took my sister. Oh, it seems like we both have a reason not to like her. Uh, the Civil War and freedom, you know, tried to desert it and got sentenced for treason. I wasn't doing any good there anyway. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> but enough about that. What's up with this dice? I haven't seen a real one in years. I see your... Missing a couple of pips, little one, if you're going to go anywhere. Why can't I simply walk through the door to freedom? You are new, aren't you? The door to three towns forever locked it keeps the district separate by order of the queen. You'd need to roll a three to open it. And since nobody has a dice anymore, well, they stay closed. But your little friend's so close to three. I could fix you, but... But... But I can't. Not unless I get my missing eyes back. Oh, if only a brave dice wielder would find it in her heart of glory to begin a quest to find and return my eyes. Oh. 
if I help, if I help you, you'll help me. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm certain the nanny passed my eyes on to the mayor. Of course, if she'd given them to the right mayor, getting them back would be easy, but she gave them to that upside down one. <sighs> what a nightmare. Can't I just paint the dot on Dice instead? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Listen, even if things were that easy, do you think we'd all be here? Heck no! We'd all be in Six Town, living the high life, relaxing by, uh, by whatever it is that Six Towners relax by. A pool of gold, probably. Sadly, it's not that easy, even. Especially not since that nanny has given my eyes to that nightmare of a mayor. So, yeah, find my eyes, and I can definitely help you. So, you'll help out old Seymour? Yes. I'll help out old Seymour. Thank you, thank you. Be careful with that two-faced mayor. Okay. If you need me, I'll be over at the town square, near the door to freedom. I have questions about freedom. Oh, it's a bad place. It's one of the six towns, one for each side of the Queen's Black Dice. We used to be united, but that was generations ago, before the No Dice War. Random has seen a lot of war. Tell me about the civil war in freedom. Oh, 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 don't get me started, kiddo. Oh, the town's being ruined by a family of triplets. It's petty sibling rivalry on a humongous destructive scale, with no end in sight. I better go talk to the mayor. Even decided that she felt a kinship with this sad large monster. He'd been hurt by the same people who took her sister. She had the sense she was the only one who could help him. And she had the sense Seymour could end up helping her too. Tale of Two Towns. Hello? Okay. I don't bother you anymore. Hello. Hello down there. Oh. Are you the mayor? That I am. Well, one of them at least. Uh, and you, young lady, are. Even. Well met, even. At last, even had arrived at the mayor of Two Town, the administrator of this land, and the alleged thief of Seymour's eyes. Or at least. Even had arrived at his lower extremities. What brings you to my office today, Even? Office. I'm trying to find my sister and some stolen eyes. You're trying to blind your mister with your swollen thighs? No, I'm trying to find my sister and some stolen eyes. Mine a twister or some coaling guys. Find my sister and some stolen eyes. Grind your uh, why don't you take the elevator and step into my office even? It'll be easier to talk. A 
Okay, where is the elevator? But here is this. Collect those first. It's so beautiful, the upside down town. Wait a minute. Elevator. Okay. That's an elevator. I have to walk. Yes, yes, hello. Step into my office, such as it is. Don't mind the thing sticking out of my hat. He's... How best to explain this? I had a lot on my mind about this upside downtown project. It was starting to get out of hand, and then one day he was just there. I've always been here. Right. We'd better keep our voices down, even, if we are to keep this conversation away from his ears. I'm sure you noticed the changes here, even. Our personalities becoming personified now. Personalities are getting their own bodies now. That's what Royam is. He's growing out of my hat, and I don't know how to stop him. I don't know how to fix this town even, and I don't know why I'm telling you this. Oh, I suppose you just have a face one can trust. In any case, what brings you to the mayor today? What's that coloring out of your hat? What's that little girl? You want to know how our first past the post democratic system works? Why, I'd be happy to explain it in tremendous detail beginning now. Okay, I think that warded him off. That thing growing out of my hat has a name. Royam. Mayor spelled backwards. What? Oh. I never thought of that. Anyway, Royam is my opposite side. He's much more um, self-assured than I am, which normally would be great. But the things he's doing, I don't know if I can support them. What's he doing that's so bad? Well, for starters, he's wasting precious time and people on this upside down project. Secondly, he is bat dung mad as a hatter, and he freaks me out personally. He's my opposite, but at the end of the day, that's the grand thing about two town, isn't it? Everyone's got their other half. It's just like breathing to us. Mostly like breathing. I have a couple of questions. What's going on with the... Construction. Oh, that's, um, that's the Queen's idea. She wants us to build a second two town. Duality and all that. It'll be glorious, of course. Everything the Queen does is glorious. But, uh, well, it just seems to be that it's taking its time to get to that glory and, well, uh, never mind. I'm speaking out of turn. Right, queens know best. Right, queens always know best. I should stop worrying about it. Is everything teleporting to town? No, I'm afraid not. You're the first tourist we've had in quite some time. Have you considered spending some time in currency down the wonderful Cellar Street? I have. Couldn't miss it even if I wanted to. Oh, good. As mayor, I expect that should make me happy. We've got a new slogan, you know, straight from Nani Fortuna. 
It's two down where the fun is doubled. So twice the fun. That's something to look forward to. Did you see? Did you take my friend? <laughs> I'm done talking. Did you take my friend Seymour's eyes? I'm. I'm afraid not even. Despite my title, I'm in no position to help you. But. But? Well, if you dared, you could try talking to Roy I'm directly. I shouldn't even be mentioning his name. But, well, you need my help. This is all I can do. I suspect he knows more than he lets on. I'm lowering an elevator for you, even. It's your choice. And good luck. Thank you. Now I have an elevator. But I want to break that first. Let's go to two town number two. Hello. Greetings, my name is Royan, and I'm in charge. You know I'm the boss because I'm so... Uh... Big. Big? That doesn't rhyme with charge. You're clearly new at this. You seem to struggle with rhyming. You're very rude to point out my struggle. As mayor, I've got lots of priorities to... Uh, uh. Chuckle. Stop interrupting me, I almost had it! Ah! I thought the other guy down there was the mayor. Him, the mayor? Don't make me laugh. He's less than the smallest member of my... Him, the mayor? Don't make me laugh. He's less than the smallest member of my staff. Yes, I was about to say that. You have met but an idiotic fool. I'm surprised he's not covered in his own... You have met but an idiotic fool. I'm surprised he's not covered in his own drool. <laughs> Look, you've broken my flow and made me stop rhyming. I'm busy with the construction of my masterpiece, my legacy, my gift to random of that wondrous second moon, and you're interrupting me. What do you want? Look, I know you have seen massage. Can't we make a deal? Yes. yes. Why should I deal with you? I am the designer, builder, overseer of the new two town. The better one. Much better than the one that idiot mayor oversees. You want your friend's eyes back, don't you? So you do have Simo's eyes. Give them back, you big jerk. Oh no, I don't give anything away for free. There's something you need to know. Here's how this is going to go. There, you see? My rhymes are getting better. I'm struggling with my poem about the moon, and I'd like to have it done real, real quickly. You know what? That gives me a thought. I'll give you the eyes, but you'll have to do... I'll give you the eyes, but you'll have to do...
Nothing and not. Ha! You wish, but that's not the prize at which I'll sell. I'll let them go if you teach me how to rhyme. Competently. Here's my offer, take it or leave. Bring me a perfect poem about the moon and I'll grant you Seymour's eyes. Hey, please. Oh, you are good. If I come up with the perfect moon poem, you'll give me the eyes. Yes, that's the deal we have struck. Go find rhymes and I wish you... I'll think of it eventually. Get to it before I change my mind. It's only temporarily that our interests are... parallel to each other. Where did you come from? My origins are as amazing as they are obscure. All you need to know is that I am a successful... In... Stop interrupting my poetry! Sorry. Goodbye. Farewell, young stranger, and let me give you some advice well earned. Stay out of my way and you won't get cooked. Burnt? I was about to say that. Sorry. It was a mad quest for an insane, upside-down mayor. But it was all even had to go on. There were some particular propaganda posters hanging on the walls. Perhaps hmm. those could be of inspiration. Maybe. Ooh. Looking. Hello. Many decks. Just the guy I wanted. Omasame, summon the witch of the valley bubble shield. Fully shields even for one hit. And even blink dodges the law at versus the take damage effect last for the second. Yes. Me, oh many dicks. Take that. Take that. Hello. Oh, I got two nice. Draw a new card. Exp 
explode. Was that enough? No, it wasn't. Ow. new but work at one Unpin that, pin that. Ow. There you go. Come on. Oh. I think this will work. Down and throw dice. Nice. There you go. 
go and take that. Oh, again, two. Let's use that one. And let's get some help. that still and more And throw. Bum, 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 bum. And attack.
Ow. Oof. That was long battle. 150 coins. A bit less. Grace, I was pinned down by those those vile machines, but now they're you are smashed. safe now. <laughs> so thank you. The name's Big Red. I'm even. Even, huh? Well, you're big even to me now. Big's an honorific, you know. Oh, neat. Big Red and Big Even. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, kid. What brings you up here to this? This horrible place, Big Even. I'm looking for my sister and also some eyes. Afraid I can't help with either of those. But I got a life here. A precious little life, but it's mine. And now that I can move freely again, I think I'm gonna head back down to Two Town. See, I have this brother. Name a Little Joe. Little Joe from Scoundrels Alley. That's him. Looks just like me, only he's a jerk. I met him, I know him. I saved him from some robots. Well, he was going to work up here, but I got sent here instead. He made some sort of deal. Little Joe tricked me, his own twin sister. So now he's down there, and I'm stuck up here, and I hate every minute of it. You must be so mad at him. Oh, I was, for sure. At him. And I was of two minds about it for a long time. But now I'm just tired. I know what he did was wrong. And I know he knows it, too. He probably feels really guilty about it. But I don't want revenge. I just want to leave. I just want to go home. I understand. And now I can! Thank you! You've really made a difference in my life, Big Even. Oh, please, take this. It's my way of saying thanks. I'm finally free! Two coins. 152. I got lots of coins. A poster, inspiration from, for rhymes and poetry lurks between the lines of this... Otherwise, unremarkable post. They said it wasn't possible. They said it was a lie. Meet Miss Mystique from Papo's Wild Circus, the woman with three personalities. Hmm. Miss? I could use that word. I got one word. Meet. <laughs> Build, build my city in the sky. Go on. And just how can I? We need a new city that's way up at a significant height. How can I get that? My workers are building at a terrific rate. If you ask me, I think that's great. It's nice to see them finally pulling there. Game master, master Spear, what are you doing up here, kid? Just looking. Construction is on schedule, of course it is. is I'm the best there here? is in this construction. In line of employment? Good, good. All is going according to plan. I truly am Two Town's greatest male individual. Looks like it. Hmm. 
as the sky is tall, I'm so glad to have been a small part of it. Ooh. Does she? Go. Aha. Inspiration for rhymes and poetry lurks between the lines of this atmos and a remarkable post. A good night's sleep is every evening's prize. Sleep twice as well when you wear sleeping eyes. Sleeping eyes? Yeah, I like the sound of that. Was there something? No. Ah, here. Listen to Crooner Harry Harry's new double length record. Inspired by the new moon of Two Town, it's twice as good as his last album, Crew. That, that's a nice poetic word. Okay, now I have to find Ford somewhere. Does it show on the map? I think not. I think this map doesn't help much. In that sense that it doesn't show exactly where are you. Hello? Are you alive? Was looking there, something. I was talking to a machine. Oh, money decks. Let's buy this one. Uh, diff. No. Cheat. Quick star. Each crystal is worth more increase the speed of trying cars. Rest for 60 seconds. This one. Deck, modif bleh. deck modification unlocked. From your deck will stay at exactly 50 cards. You can modify your deck in the card binder screen. So now I can... Let's stay these cards that I have in my deck for now. Hello. Oh, definitely. Do not shoot. No. Then it just as a suspected. 
You are here an official business friend, Mayor, and no other explanation. Nobody else but authorized workers are allowed here. What can I do for you? Hello, Jam, the mayor. Oh, uh, yes, I was the mayor. Well, more like a nightmare. Works as like a slave driver. Rush some of us off the edge if we don't do a good enough job. Say, you don't know anything about anti gravity, do you? Not really. Nobody does. Every time we complain, I mean, present positive feedback to the Queen, she tells us that we, if we get tired of the blood rushing to our heads, then we should invent anti gravity. But every time I try to think how to invent that, I get dizzy. This year, then I am all the time, I mean. Excuse me. From hanging upside down all day. Well, better get back to work. Time's up wasting. No. No. How can I? It bothers me. Oh, here is a poster. Feast for the senses, a balm for the body, a spiritual bouquet? You simply have to try Crazy Cryptid's Chopped Cheese Blue. Now half price every second Tuesday. Huh. Spiritual bouquet. Aha. It's a nice turn of phrase. There. Even had all the material she needed to face Royam in a battle of rhymes. Did she have the skill? Well, there was only one way to find out. One way to find out. Storybook page. An illustrated page from an old forbidden storybook. Collect and hit them in Eve's binder. When they were ready, Oh, when they were brave enough, the most courageous and random would embark on a great adventure, making their way to the Valley of the Dice. There, in that sacred place, they would choose the dice that they would carry with them for the rest of their lives. Although, some would whisper that the choice wasn't fully theirs to make. It was completely random. New. Uh, where was the mayor?
I have already bought cards. This way. Yes, this way. She wasn't sure if she was ready, but on the other hand, she wasn't at all certain she'd ever be. So she did the only thing she could. She went for it. This is it, even. It all comes down to this. If you come at me with a moon poem, you'd better not. If you come at me with a moon poem, you'd better not scuzzle sh up. Clearly not ready yet. Oh. So, okay. you want to try this again? Very well. It all comes down to this. If you come at me with a moon poem, you'd better not. Miss. Perfect, yes. Let us begin. We shall pluck the wings from painted butterflies to fan the moonbeams from two towns. Butterflies. Sleep in eyes. Oh, I like that very much. Let's proceed. And we shall be made minions of the moon who look forward to everything the mayor does. Oh, now I remember. Cloon. Yes, there's no rule that says a poem can't talk up the poet some. Well done. Now, last verse. And we shall always swear by the two moons, for they change each day. The upside down town is the only place that offers such a... Spiritual bouquet. Such perfect rhymes for a perfect moon. I think, I think I have it, yes. Well done, little poet. You have earned yourself quite a boon. Wait, what are you doing to use this? What are you going to use this poem for? You're welcome, whatever gets things done. Oh, I am constantly growing, building my body to become a real being. Poetry, on the other hand, this is what will truly separate me from my shallow other side. What about my reward? You said you'd give me Simo's eyes. Oh, but of course, I promise you I will dig into that matter. Meanwhile, I want to give you something else. The highest honor in this land. I grant you access to the second moon's staging grounds. Few have ever had the good fortune to tread on that hallowed ground. Go there, admire it, and then I will give you what you seek. Visit the second moon. Build, build my city in the sky. Go on, don't be shy. We need a new city that's way up at a significant height. This way. Good, good. All is going according to plan. Beautiful, I guess, in its own sort of strange way. Strange way, indeed. Collect 
that. I need Dex. I need your Dex. Only have ten. Oh, poop. So this was the famed second moon, Mayor Royam's masterpiece. It was actually kind of a trap. Aha! Uh -huh. Who have no ever known? Roll your dice and lead the playing piece into the structure of uh, the Royal Second Moon. That can't be right. The race to Royam's moon. The goal of this game is to reach its final tile with the plain piece. Welcome Royam's moon. Three arenas must be beaten in order to reach the end. Sometimes a card will appear spawn an adversary and block in your plain piece advance. The card is removed once this adversary has been defeated. Step on this platform and you will receive a bow of one. Or print a plain piece to this tile and flock of bomb carrying birds will follow, fly over the arena. They drop the bombs either if you are under them or if you shoot them. The plain piece is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance. And throw only one. This is good. That adversary is destroyed. By accident. The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance.
Hold on. Just that. Sorry, I have to check on the... No, the voice crackles for me. I don't know if you hear it. Playing peace has broken the wall. Oh, my bad. Mind went to a dark place there. <laughs> this is what actually happened. First death.
and lead the playing piece into the structure of uh, the royal second moon. That can't be right. The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Defeat the adversary to advance. Let's try this again. And roll. Only got one. Actually, that's... I should use that more. Now we have to destroy that. I see. Over here. Can I get up there? No, I can't. Or can I?
Okay, then the big question is, can I break these? I can. Now we can advance. There you go. Now continue. Over there. Collect. Get him, Dicey. The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance. I hope that helps. Otherwise, oh.
everything slows down. Cut it. And low. See, Levin had a feeling she had broken the moon, and that, somehow, Mayor Royam wasn't too happy about that. Somehow. Oh, feeling confirmed. Coast the mayor. Or I am. Even what did you do? At one moment, Roy M was a part of me, overseeing the construction. And in the next, he torn himself free and went off howling at the moon. There's no saying what he's capable of now that he's free from my influence. I taught him how to rhyme, and then he tried to kill me. You taught him to rhyme? Oh no, there's no telling what he'll do now. Be very careful, even. I don't know what happens next. We're in uncharted territory here. Whatever you do. Be careful. You dealt a bad hand, have you? Oh, never mind. Trade it here for a new one with me. Oh, many dicks. Many dicks. I have lots of cards. Blink. When you pay from Blink, that your weapon directly does not deplete for a short period. Let's buy that one. Can't buy anything else. Now, I'm sorry. Today is a very time of day. I don't know why. But I am planning. I am. Nevertheless, I am close to two hour mark. Close. But not yet. So I will stop it here. 
and let's select. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I don't know why. Just tired the last couple of days. So let's light the pastry. So, thank you everybody for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.